And another hand, please, for Ian Dowson for the next section. Right, good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you for listening to me. What I'm going to do is to give an, an overview and just dive into some specifics about the subject matter. First of all, that's my get out clause. <laughs> Nothing I say is any form of, it, of financial advice. Please follow that rule. <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh, Fintech, just to give you a view of where Fintech is. Uh, uh, last year, 25 billion. Uh, so far this year, 16 billion to uh, 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 first half. That's probably looking like 19 billion at the end of the third quarter. Uh, robo investors, as we're talking about robo investors, I picked out the top ones in terms of investment and funds under management that I can see. And the biggest robo investor is Vanguard Personal Advisory. They've been going for 40 years. But uh, uh, the point I'd like to make is that Betterment are now up to 5 billion, and they put $200 million in. And there's been two acquisitions, Northwest Mutual, LearnVest, and Future Advisor, BlackRock. Right. So when we look at FinTech, there are a number of enablers. Secure cloud, open source software, devices. I'll skip the middle bit in a moment. Um, uh, mobile network operators, the African mobile phone banking system, API security. But over the last year, um, uh, you've seen You've got to have AI. It's the next blockchain. But I consider uh, AI to be deep learning with a multiplicity of techniques. But that's got to be matched with soft learning, which is the behavior of things and humans within systems. And I've just identified some of them there. Stuff like empathy, effective computing, uh, neuroscience. Um, otherwise, all this stuff, soft stuff, which is not normally related to technology. Right, so the four pillars of deep learning as I see them. You have the technology, which I think everybody in this room <coughs> might understand. But then you've got the humans or things in a system. This is the behavioral part. <coughs> then you've got the systems part. What is the goal? of this whole thing. It's to optimize a system. And then you've got the controls. So I think the real opportunities are somewhere in the systems optimization and the control side. One of the trends I see now is that the evolution of platforms. Maybe the era of apps is over. The era of messenger with apps inside that's on top of us now, or so that you can have one click and the Uber turns out turns up outside. I think that I'm becoming more and more convinced that that is the world we're going to be living in. And some illustrations of the decomposition of sales channels. Uh, uh, Messenger, AI, Alexia, Google Allo, and Google Assist. Uh, uh, buy these shoes. Capital One, how much money have I got left on my uh, uh, credit card limit? Hey Google, I need a loan. And then the, uh, uh, the real philosophical question for every human, am I broke? <laughs> Deep learning tools are now available to the masses. You can get hold of this stuff. Previously, you had to be in a billion corporation or uh, the Lawrence Livermore Research Laboratory. On the right hand side you see the software that you can get hold of and on the left, on the right hand side you've got the effective computing which is the behavior and on the left hand side you've got the software. Uh, I'll just pick out two, two points from the software. Viv that's synthetic processing, which is being done by the, the same people who did Siri. They've got track record. Synthetic processing at scale might work. And then uh, 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 
Nirvana was acquired by Intel for $400 million in orders. Right? So an organization as powerful as Intel are acquiring companies in this space. The hardware, there's a revolution in hardware going on. The, uh, 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 the chips are merging from standard chips to multi-core chips to graphical user processing chips to specific design chips. And the specific, specifically designed chips uh, uh, are used in Google TensorFlow. The NVIDIA Deep Learning Box, $8,000 for your own deep learning system. And uh, Intel acquired Fathom, which also has machine vision within it, in September, uh, uh, which I think validates that when my earlier point, they bought a software company and now they bought a hardware company. And they're a multi-million corporation with multi-million business uh, uh, R&D. Next. Deep learning APIs, there's a thousand of them. At least, you can find them on programmable web. Right? You can get them. You, you don't need uh, 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 millions of dollars worth of budget. Next. And now to iBot. Next. Right. At the top are all of the deep learning systems you can get access to. At the bottom, these are the deep delivery platforms. And in the middle of the sandwich, I've analyzed 318 AI stroke bots to see where the money was going or where the technical innovation was. The deep core learning parts are the largest, but in terms of processes, uh, the second, the third, which surprised me, are developer tools, personal assistance, and then we come to the specific applications, assistance, customer service, discovery, healthcare, etc. And one thing I didn't know was that Slack has 600 bots. One thing I wasn't unaware of as well is that Amazon Alexia has 3,000 bots or 3,000 skills, and they've got $100 million worth of uh, uh, venture funds to develop more. Use of AI bots, and uh, uh, the one I think is particularly useful is TradeShift to uh, manage um, uh, company expenses and authorization. And just to show how fast things can develop, AJ Bell, a stockbroker, within a week of Messenger being uh, 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 announced, uh, had a bot so that you could buy Facebook shares. I thought what you needed was to... Sorry, could you explain that? What do you mean? Within they did it within a week. A week. The, uh, the bot. Within a week of, of uh, uh, Messenger bot being announced, they have designed a bot which you could go to your mobile phone and buy Facebook shares. Any trading platform allows for that to happen within the, the mobile platform? Uh, not inside Messenger. Okay. It was inside a text-based Messenger system. Oh. Right. You know, so the, the bar I think what I'm saying, the barrier to entry to using this stuff has just dropped another you know, five stories. I thought, I thought this solution was uh, 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 behavioral. Right, but I think the I think it's going to be pain, which uh, 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 drives this. Do not pay. Co. Uk has saved four million dollars worth of parking tickets and capital markets. Yeah, three <laughs> D holographic uh, trading. That's going to change. That's going to change analytics in corporates. It's about complex system optimization. <laughs> uh, uh, who does this best? The medical guys. That's influencer growing in real time. And, and right, this is my final uh, two slides. Uh, this is art and artificial intelligence. 
right? Uh, a Eric Gill image and a Margaret MacDonald image, which creates a, a beautiful, captivating image by being processed together. And my challenge to the brains in the audience is, right, you've got two sets of data here, right, uh, predominantly. Uh, you process images using factorals, and just imagine if this black part is the latency in trading between financial markets. I'm sure somebody can do this. All right. Yeah, thank you so much, Ian. For anyone who knows Ian well, you'll be aware that asking him to do a talk in seven minutes when he knows so much is completely...